Welcome to Zashi. In this video, I'll be walking you through cloud and cloud computing. We're going to talk about the history of cloud, cloud providers, as well as um, service delivery models. So many students always find issues explaining what cloud is to other people. In our previous video, we spoke about data centers and we spoke about the components of a data center. We said the data center, you're going to find the network, you're going to find hardware infrastructures like servers, you're going to have hypervisor softwares installed on these servers, and also you're going to be able to produce your virtual machines um, inside of these hardware servers. So many years ago, before the concept of cloud came about, Customers or companies who had to store and host application data, they had to actually manage this entire data center platform. That means they actually had to build data center infrastructures that was going to cost them millions of dollars to have this entire platform. So imagine you're a small customer or you're a small business owner trying to get into the software business. Are you going to have what it takes? to actually build an infrastructure like this because it's very, very expensive. You have to pay for the entire building. You have to buy all these um, hardware components. You need to pay data center engineers. You need to pay for electricity. You need to buy more servers as data gets full and all that. Because of that, small companies could not actually get into business. Some software startups actually um, closed because they were able to manage all these things. That is why a group of organizations actually came in and these organizations decided to take ownership of this entire platform. Organizations decided to build data centers like this in different parts of the world. These organizations are actually known as cloud providers. When we talk about cloud, cloud just simply means you're giving somebody access to a computer over the internet. And what's the purpose of that? Without a computer, you cannot do anything, right? So what actually happens is, with cloud, let's say you have John and you have Matthew, and these guys are making use of a computer device, be it their phone or their laptop or anything. Now, what actually happens is that John can actually be able to access a cloud service over the internet. Now, the person that provides this service is called the cloud provider. So cloud providers, there are so many of them. And these are actually group of organizations that have decided to host data center infrastructures in different parts of the world. Examples of them include AWS, which is the largest cloud provider and is owned by Amazon. You have Microsoft Azure, which is owned by Microsoft. You have Google Cloud Platform, which is owned by Google. You have um, Oracle Cloud, which is owned by Oracle. You have Alibaba Cloud, you have IBM Cloud, and many more. Cloud computing is nothing but the on-demand sale of IT services over the internet. That definitely means that cloud providers provide services over the internet. Some of these services actually include database, compute, storage, and many more. With cloud computing, one thing you have to understand is that if you have to make use of a cloud service, you must choose the cloud platform which you want to actually be able to make use of your service. And also, you must be ready to pay to be able to utilize um, that service. The services provided by cloud providers actually fall under three models. These models are known as service delivery models. And they include platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, as well as software as a service. So if you get any service or if you're using any service from any of the cloud providers, they are going to fall underneath um, any of these three categories that I just named. So let's talk about them. We're going to go back to the data center and we're going to actually, we have to understand that from the networking all the way to the hypervisor, the cloud provider always manages that. So this is always taken care of by the cloud provider at every point in time too. Remember, cloud computing services are being hosted in the data centers which are, which, which are provided by the cloud provider. So, we're going to talk about infrastructure as a service. With infrastructure as a service, what actually happens is, it's a service delivery model where the customer has to manage 
from the operation system all the way to the application. So it means the cloud provider actually manages from the networking to the hard provider. And you, the customer, making use of that service, will need to choose your own operating system, install your own application runtimes, or manage your own application and your application data. So it gives you flexibility on choosing which kind of operating system you have to make use of. It gives you the ability to actually decide the kind of networking strategy you're going to use, um, as well as um, you're going to decide how you want to be able to scale that service. So that is simply what infrastructure as a service is. It gives you flexibility and you can manage all the way from the operating system to the application. Now, we also want to talk about platform as a service. So with platform as a service, the cloud provider actually manages from the network all the way to the runtime. That means the cloud provider is going to be the one to actually host the VM. The cloud provider is going to be the one to actually manage the application dependency, which is the runtime. And you as the customer, you will simply just um, provide your application and manage your application's data. That's simply what platform as a service is. The cloud provider is providing you a platform, and that platform, you can be able to host your application data as well as manage your application. The cloud provider actually does the scalability and everything. Now, one other thing you're going to hear about too is software as a service. I mean, this is the easiest one because with software as a service, the cloud provider manages everything. So he manages from the networking all the way to the application. So with software as a service, you do not manage anything as a customer. As a customer, you simply make use of the software as a service. You just subscribe to it and you use it and you, don't, you just pay for it and you do not manage anything. Be it the VM, be it the runtime, be it the data, no, the application. So thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, you could actually subscribe to the channel and we're going to talk more on other cloud aspects. Thank you.